How do you account for the fact that you uh, survive each time? I'm an Irish Catholic with the grace of God on my shoulder. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the highest number of times high-profile figures managed to escape being bumped off in history. Number 20, Alexander II of Russia. After Alexander II took control of Russia in 1855, he quickly initiated sweeping reforms across the country. This included abolishing serfdom, building a mass railway network, and restructuring the military. Alexander even famously sold Alaska to the U.S. in 1867. However, not everyone was happy about these changes. Revolutionaries and Polish nationalists attempted to cut Alexander's life short on five occasions between 1866 and 1880. Notably, at the World's Fair in 1867, Antony Berezovsky attempted to shoot the Tsar, only for his weapon to break and strike a horse. The sixth attempt on Alexander's life would ultimately prove fatal. In 1881, members of the revolutionary group Narodnaya Volya used explosives to assassinate him as he traveled in St. Petersburg. Number 19, Pervez Musharraf. I don't believe in dishonesty. I believe in telling a person right straight, because then that is how trust is developed. Pervez Musharraf was the president of Pakistan from 2001 to 2008. Musharraf was seen as a controversial figure. Having seized power through a military coup and aligned with the U.S. during their conflict with neighboring Afghanistan. Unsurprisingly, he made several enemies who tried to assassinate him over four times. In December of 2003 alone, there were two attempts on Musharraf's life involving explosives. Uh, he is trying to further reinforce uh, his stance that uh, his uh, life is at threat. While the president managed to escape unharmed on both occasions, the second attack resulted in the loss of 16 other lives. Then, in 2007, an unknown group shot at Musharraf's airplane as it departed the city of Rawalpindi. All of these attempts proved futile, and in 2023, Musharraf passed away from natural causes. I should have done something with this Osama bin Laden card and gained advantage. So, what, uh, obviously, it is illogical. Number 18, Danny Green. There's lots of stories going around that it might have been a dissident group. Either one of them, uh, I believe, would possibly, but either one of them would do anything so obvious. I think it's the work of a crank of some sort. Known as the Irishman, Danny Green was a former U.S. Marine who grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and was an influential figure in the Longshore Workers Labor Union. He later became a notorious crime boss, forming his own gang called the Celtic Club and taking part in the Cleveland Mafia War. It's believed that Green was involved in up to 80% of incendiary attacks in Cleveland over a 10-year period. If any of these maggots from the so-called mafia want to come after me, I'm not a hard man to find. As such, he became the target of at least four assassination attempts, including a devastating explosion that destroyed a whole floor in his home. However, his luck ran out in 1977 when an explosive placed in an adjacent car went off, fatally injuring him. Number 17, Vladimir Lenin. Vladimir Lenin was one of the key figures in the Russian Revolution, which changed the landscape of the country forever. As a result, he was seen as a hero by many and an adversary by others. Lenin's influence and high-profile status made him the target of around five assassination attempts, the most infamous of which occurred in 1918. After speaking at a factory in Moscow, Lenin headed towards his car. Fanny Kaplan, a member of the Socialist Revolutionary Party, then fired at him, striking the leader twice and inflicting severe injuries. Eh, I can't believe you shot Lenin! He was my best customer! I shot him three times and didn't even kill him, the cockroach! What is he, Rasputin? Kaplan was swiftly arrested and executed for her deed. Although Lenin survived the attack, it's believed that it contributed to his declining health and eventual passing in 1924. Comrade Lenin. Yes, my shepherd. When my revolution is complete, the flock's left will be so powerful. You one problem will be finding my equal to balance from the right. Number 16, Bill Clinton. I never told anybody to lie, not a single time, never. While he's most notorious for his affair in office, President Bill Clinton is also one of America's most targeted politicians. There have been at least six attempts on his life, four of which occurred in 1994. That January, Ronald Barber threatened to take out Clinton as he jogged. 
later in September. Frank Quarter crashed a small plane onto the White House lawn, losing his life in the process. The following month, Francisco Duran mistakenly shot at a group of people at the White House, believing Clinton was among them. He landed himself a 40-year prison sentence. Finally, Clinton was a target for Ramzi Youssef, who orchestrated the 1993 World Trade Center attack. However, Youssef abandoned his plan due to the president's robust security. So if something was discovered, a bomb, the change from the initial plan to plan B, C, or D should be relatively seamless. That's part of their planning process. Number 15, Grigory Rasputin. Time to dance on your graves. According to popular legend, one of the most difficult people to take out was Russia's Grigory Rasputin. Known as the Mad Monk, his first brush with death seemingly took place in 1914. While leaving his home, Rasputin was stabbed in the abdomen by Hyonya Guseva. He managed to knock her out and she was institutionalized. Then in 1916, Rasputin was killed by three nobles, Felix Yusupov, Dmitry Pavlovich, and Vladimir Purishkevich. However, the story goes that he put up a fight before eventually going down. Rasputin reportedly withstood being poisoned with cyanide and shot multiple times before being wrapped in a cloth and thrown into the Malanyevka River, where some believe he met his end. <laughs> Number 14, Sukarno. In 1945, Sukarno made history as the first president of Indonesia after leading the country to independence from the Netherlands. His growing relationship with the USSR raised concerns for the CIA, which opposed communist nations. As such, they backed actions against him, including a coup attempt and assassination plots. It's believed there were at least six attempts made on Sukarno's life. In 1957, while visiting a school in central Jakarta, the militia group Darul Islam used grenades to try and take out Sukarno. He survived the attack, but sadly, six miners died. Another infamous attempt came in 1960, when Air Force pilot Daniel Malkar used a plane to fire at Sukarno's residences. Yet, the president was not harmed. Number 13, Rajiv Gandhi. In 1984, Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi was assassinated by her bodyguards in response to Operation Blue Star, a military operation to remove Sikh separatists from the Holy Golden Temple. This incident resulted in her son assuming leadership, which also made him a target. Between 1985 and 1991, there were nine attempts on his life. In 1987, one such attack was filmed when sailor Vijita Rohana struck Gandhi with his rifle as he inspected the Guard of Honor at the house of the Sri Lankan president. Tragically, in 1991, time ran out for Gandhi. He was assassinated alongside 14 others by a member of the separatist group Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam, who was wearing an explosive device. Number 12, Yasser Arafat. We are fed up to be rats, or no, only for snipings and for killing. As a prominent figure in Palestinian politics, Yasser Arafat was beloved by many but despised by others. By some estimates, Arafat survived at least 13 assassination attempts. There was reportedly a plan by Israeli forces to shoot down a passenger plane in 1982, believing he was on board. It was scrapped after they realized it was his look-alike brother on the plane, alongside some injured Palestinian youngsters. In 1996, another attempt was foiled after Palestine officials discovered a plot by Hamas to attack Arafat with weapons and explosives. Due to the constant threats, Arafat stated he never spent more than one night in the same room. Although official records attribute his 2004 death to a stroke, some still believe that Arafat was poisoned. Suspicions of poisoning grow, and Palestinians point the finger at Israel. As Tawfiq Tirawi, the president of the Palestinian Commission of Inquiry on Arafat's death, said on Tuesday. Number 11, Muammar Gaddafi. There are odd things happening in Libya. Nobody knows what's happening inside Libya. So you've got events there. After leading a coup in 1969, Muammar Gaddafi took control of Libya and ruled the country for over four decades as a dictator. Throughout that time, he made many enemies, especially in the West. In 1986, the US, believing that Gaddafi was involved in a Berlin attack, launched a military campaign that targeted his compound with explosives. While he survived, many did not. 
Also, former UK security officer David Shaler claimed that in 1996, MI6 botched an attempt to assassinate Gaddafi by placing an explosive under the wrong car, resulting in several casualties. In 2011, a NATO airstrike took the life of one of Gaddafi's sons, but yet again, he evaded death. Gaddafi was eventually killed months later by rebel forces. If, no, no. if, if you Sorry. say they do love you, then why are they capturing Benghazi and they say they're against you there? Why are they in It is a guy, there. it is a guy, there. it is a guy, they're not my people. Number 10, Vladimir Putin. This plot has been known about by authorities for well, close to two months now, uh, and it is only now being made public by a state-owned network. Due to his divisive nature, especially in recent times, Vladimir Putin has become a prime assassination target. To date, it's believed Putin has survived six attempts on his life. even more difficult and even more dangerous. I believe that. The first known incident was in 2002 when an Iraqi man planning to attack the leader in Azerbaijan was arrested. Following his decision to invade Ukraine, two more attempts were made. In 2022, Ukrainian official Kirill Budanov disclosed an unsuccessful attack on Putin that was made in the Caucasus region. Then in 2023, two drones were shot down near the Kremlin, which Russia claimed were sent by Ukraine to kill Putin. These incidents seem to have made Putin so paranoid that he is allegedly using a body double in public. Number 9. Jawaharlal Nehru Jawaharlal Nehru became India's first prime minister after the country gained its independence from Britain in 1947. Despite being widely loved, Nehru was a target for extremists, and this threat became heightened after his fellow activist Mahatma Gandhi was assassinated. Altogether, Nehru is believed to have survived six attempts on his life. In 1955, it was reported that a knife-wielding man jumped on the prime minister's car. Interestingly, he played down the incident in the press, calling the weapon, quote, very small. That same year, there was also an alleged plot by the CIA to take him out. The final attempt came in 1961, when a device exploded in Delhi shortly after Nehru passed by. While he was unhurt, five people sustained injuries. My being told, that you must not say anything when evil is happening, lest the evil do, uh, may become worse. Number eight, Barack Obama. And to those Americans who, whose support I have yet to earn, I may not have won your vote tonight, but I hear your voice. With at least seven known incidents, it appears no other US president has had as many assassination attempts as Barack Obama. In November 2011, Oscar Ramiro Ortega Hernandez fired several shots at the White House, hoping to hit the president, who was fortunately not present. This is a man who discharged a rifle in downtown D.C. Uh, I think that speaks volumes. No injuries or fatalities resulted from the incident, and Ortega Hernandez received a 25-year prison sentence. Then in 2013, Glenn Scott Crawford, who had ties to the KKK, and Eric J. Fight hatched a bizarre plot involving a death ray to target several individuals, including Obama. Their plan to use this radiation device was foiled, and Crawford was sentenced to 30 years in prison, while Fight got eight years and one month. Crawford wanted help and money to execute the death ray. The only thing that won't kill is trees. Number seven, Queen Victoria. Throughout her long reign, Queen Victoria, one of the most influential British monarchs in history, was nearly killed on eight occasions. The majority happened the same way. A man with a firearm attacked as Victoria was in her carriage. The first attempt occurred in 1840 as Victoria, four months pregnant with her first child, rode with her husband, Prince Albert. Edward Oxford stepped forward and fired two pistols, missing the target. For pity's sake, smile, woman. Anyone would think we had quarreled. Don't talk to me. Oxford was subdued and committed to an asylum. In 1850, Robert Pate, a former army officer who was known for his odd behavior, struck the queen on the head with his cane. He was quickly apprehended and confined to a penal colony in Tasmania, Australia. An armed man has been found in the gardens. What? He said he wished to harm the queen. Number six, Hussein of Jordan. And you'd realize that security is really uh, a state of mind. In his early years, Hussein, the future monarch of Jordan, had a close relationship with his grandfather, King Abdullah I. In 1951, while Hussein accompanied Abdullah for prayers, Mustafa Shukri Asho, a Palestinian extremist, opened fire at the pair. King Abdullah was fatally hit, but Hussein miraculously survived after the bullet struck a medal given to him by his grandfather. 
Throughout his reign as king, which ended with his passing in 1999, Hussein is said to have survived around 12 attempts on his life. These plots ranged from the typical armed rebel schemes to more sinister ones like replacing his nose drops with acid. Another plan to poison Hussein was discovered after several deceased cats were found in the palace. Number 5. Josip Broz Tito In 1948, then Prime Minister and later President of Yugoslavia, Josip Broz Tito was fed up with the attempts on his life by his former World War II ally, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin. Tito issued a stern letter to Stalin, demanding he stop sending killers. Otherwise, quote, I'll send one to Moscow, and I won't have to send a second. Reportedly, Stalin kept this letter in his office until his death in 1953. But it didn't stop him or others from trying to take out Tito, who allegedly survived 22 assassination attempts. There's even speculation that Stalin didn't perish from natural causes but due to poisoning, as Tito may have followed through on his chilling promise. Number 4. Charles de Gaulle Not every failed assassination gets turned into a best-selling novel and an Oscar-nominated movie, but not everyone was like Charles de Gaulle. After fighting for France in World War II and leading resistance movements, de Gaulle later became prime minister and then president of France. However, by ending colonial rule in Algeria, he drew the ire of the extremist group Organisation Armée Secrète. On August 22, 1962, an ambush organized by Colonel Jean-Marie Bastien Thierry peppered de Gaulle's motorcade with bullets. Although two guards reportedly perished, the president and his wife were miraculously okay. Bastien Thierry was executed for his involvement, and other conspirators were sentenced to life in prison. An hour ago, in the courtyard of the Fort d'Ivry outside Paris, <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Bastien Thierry was executed by firing squad for leading the attempt on the life of General de Gaulle last August. In addition to this, it's believed de Gaulle survived at least 30 assassination attempts. Number 3. Adolf Hitler if they are trusted, if they can get a weapon into proximity with Hitler inside the inner defense zone, then yes, they have a shot at taking Hitler out. While the Allied forces had ambitions to snuff out the Fuhrer of Germany, Adolf Hitler also had internal threats on his life. Historians have so far uncovered evidence of at least 42 plans to assassinate him. In many of these, luck played a big part in Hitler's survival. In 1943, German officer Rudolf Christoph von Gerstorf planned to detonate timed explosives as he hugged Hitler after showing him captured weaponry. However, with the timer set to 10 minutes, Hitler finished quickly, leaving von Gerstorf to quietly defuse the device in a bathroom. Similarly, the infamous 20 July plot by Klaus von Stauffenberg failed when the explosive briefcase he placed beside Hitler was moved before it detonated. It will be a catastrophe. Number 2. Zog I of Albania With around 600 blood feuds, King Zog I of Albania had a lot of enemies looking to knock him off. After all, he reportedly survived over 55 assassination attempts. Zog began his career in the military and later rose to power as prime minister, then president, and finally king in 1928. One notable attempt occurred in 1924 when he was shot twice by Bechir Valteri as he entered parliament. The future monarch reportedly continued working as if nothing happened. Another daring incident happened in 1931. Zog and his entourage were shot at at the opera in Vienna, Austria. While the king was fine, a guard was killed and a minister was wounded. It's said that Zog fearlessly fired back at the retreating assailants. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Fidel Castro We can go on for 5, 10, 15, 20 more years. The only obligation of our, on our part, really, is toward peace. Few people have danced with death as much as Cuba's Fidel Castro. There were allegedly 638 plans to take the revolutionary out, many of which were orchestrated by the CIA. Some of these plots were cartoonish. Two involved tainting Castro's beloved cigars with an explosive agent or a toxin. Another featured booby-trapping a seashell that would be painted to entice the scuba diving enthusiast. The CIA acquired two books on Caribbean mollusks. 
but they just can't find a shell big enough to do the job. One plan even seen straight out of a James Bond movie, involving a poison administered through a pen. At one point, the CIA lazily considered throwing leaflets throughout Cuba, offering a reward to take out Castro. Ultimately, the man who said he would have won gold if surviving assassinations were an Olympic event passed away in 2016 at age 90. 638 plots to kill Castro and a few close shaves. Now it looks like the beard can die a natural death. Which fictional assassination attempt left the biggest impact on you? Let us know below. Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.